contest for this year, and this year's winner is Connie Carp. <laughs> She's the daughter of D.H. and Vera Carp here in Tuna, and the title of her essay was Human Rights, Why Bother? Oh, <laughs> Second place went to Jimbo Beaumont for Living with Radiation, and third place went to Miss LaVita Posey for her essay titled The Other Side of Bigotry. <laughs> I'll tell you, Alice, with subjects like that, I don't know how they ever picked a winner. I don't know either. I tell you, it should make the citizens of Tuna proud to know that we are still producing well-educated young people who know what America's all about. They do. They do. They do. They do. They I always really thought do. they did a fine oh, job. Oh, this Ronnie, just you got, you got a, don't for Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. You got a, Ronnie. You got that paper you. for us? Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> oh, here, Ronnie, throw it in over here. Oh, here. There, there oh, you right, go. Thank I got it on the other side. Oh. Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I've got some bad news for no. the citizens of Tuna. Yes, we're ready. You go right here. <sighs> you got to talk. We're on the radio. Okay? Go. They cannot see your lip quiver. Don't even do that. Come on now. Will you give it? Oh, shall I read it for no, you? No, no, no. It's fine. Fine. Ronnie gave it to you. You read it. I love to share bad news. Fine. Former County Judge Roscoe Buckner mm -hmm. died at his home Get out yesterday of afternoon. No. He had suffered a severe stroke. Yeah, that bacon. Uh, Buckner, who was a judge in the Greater Tuna area for 47 years mm -hmm. and hung more people in the 30s than any other active right judge, so. Right so. had a history of heart trouble. Mm -hmm. That's now it says here the body will lie in state at Hubert Funeral Home beginning at noon today. But Wexler Hubert says if you get there before noon, you're going to have to wait because the judge's not going to be ready till noon. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Alice, that's some bad news. It is. That is. It is. Folks, let's have a moment of silence for Roscoe Buckner, shall we? Okay, moment of silence. Let's stop now. Seen the on again, off again auditions for the Las Vegas Little Theater production of Greater Tina are on again. All right. <laughs> As you know, they've been called off due to a lack of budget. Yeah, but that's on. director yeah. Walter. What's his no, name? No, that's not the director. He's the president. Oh, the director is Sean Critchfield. Sean Critchfield. Walter Niedek, the president. You know, Thank you for straightening me out. I know my people in this Well, they town. found a way to go on with the show mm -hmm. by letting two men do all 20 parts. It's like slave labor around here, you know? It's slave labor. <laughs> Vegas Little Theater. We're sitting in the audience right now waiting for the show to start and we cannot wait to see these two fabulous actors. Oh, we hear they're so hot. Yes. <laughs> now, Greater Tuna opens on Friday, September 10th and it runs through Sunday, September 26th. And you can get your tickets at lvalt.org. Or oh, right. that's O-R-G. Oh, really? It is. Isn't that short for something nasty? So, uh, maybe. <laughs> Origami. Something like that. I don't mm. know. But we're in Chinatown. We can make a little, little Oh, that's right. Could we? Yes, we could. <laughs> so anyway, why don't you join us down here at Las Vegas Little Theater for Greater Tuna. I think you will just have more fun than you ever had in your life. Come on now, we'll buy you some popcorn. 